see what's going on today. Oh, snap, this is Bro Caller. Yo, hello? Yeah, what's up, bro? Yeah, I'm still looking on going on a camping trip. Where you at? Man, I'm at the crib waiting on her to get ready, man. You know, then we gonna be headed right over to you, bro. Yeah, I got somebody else that wants to come. Amanda, she wants to come. She just don't got a ride. Oh, no, it's cool, bro. I remember Amanda, bro. You know, I'll come pick her up and stuff Uh, when me and Mackenzie get ready. And then we'll come over and pick you up. And then we can head on to the cabin, bro. All right. All right, bet. All right. Okay, so I went and got gas. I went to the grocery store, got a couple snacks, filled everything up, chips, hot dogs, hamburgers, stuff like that. Then we got in our truck and we drove out to the cabin. I sort of admit, it felt kind of creepy. Mackenzie said the same. All of everything was so gloomy and foggy, but we could have some fun. presence but residents of this northwest suburban apartment complex are still scared tonight that's because whoever broke into tiffany thrasher's home and strangled her is still out my brother had to stay back so he told us to go ahead so i texted him and said we at the cabin tell us when you're ready so we can pick you up he told us go ahead no need to stay around so we chose to do a campfire. But Mackenzie, you could tell by the look on her face, she felt something was wrong. As we were at the cabin, back at the campfire, we were just chilling, eating s'mores, and I had to suddenly use the bathroom. But we suddenly felt like we were being watched. I mean, this was outright creepy. So I'm using the bathroom, I feel a hit. I'm knocked unconscious, so when I wake up, Everything is red. Mackenzie finds me to an apartment complex. No one answers the door. So I go back and I call my brother. But even in the end, suddenly there's no answer. We managed to get back to the cabin. Looked out the window and seen the guy with a white man. He had a knife with blood coming down. So I keep calling, keep calling to no avail. And I don't know, I just I get a bad feeling about something. So I keep calling and keep calling. And when he doesn't answer for like the 10th time, I decide to take matters into my own hands and drive down there. All right, so by this time, it's nighttime. And I get down there, I don't see nothing, you know. I'm driving through these woods. I can barely get my car through. So... I get in my car, look around where he's supposed to be at. I don't see him, his girlfriend, nothing. So I hit back on the road. But something ain't right. So I'll go back home. Next thing you know, I hear a knock on the door. I open up the door. It's the detective telling me to go down into the hospital. They say my brother been stabbed or something, so I get my keys, I go down there. So I get there, a few police and detectives taking statements or whatever. Long story short, he survived with a few injuries. The detective told us we was lucky. Asked me what I think. I think we might have just survived a serial killer. Well, all I can say is folks, stay safe, stay dangerous. Till next time.